Microsoft Visio 2010 Visio can be used to create different types of diagrams such as flowcharts, block diagrams, circuit and schematic diagrams. The new interface of Visio 2010 is improved to include the ribbon interface as you can see here. This makes using the Visio easier and quicker. To introduce this Visio, we will create a simple diagram such as a flowchart and you can see here on the home screen we have different template categories to choose from so for our example we need to choose the flowchart template and within the flowchart template we have sub templates and we will choose the basic flowchart create the new drawing at the moment we have an entry drawing and on the left hand side we have all of the shapes that belong to the basic flowchart template so let's begin drawing the process is very easy it's a matter of drag and drop of the shapes so start shape we need input so when I hover this on top of the previous shape you can see that the blue arrow turns blue a uh, dark blue so we can uh, drop this this automatically aligns and connects the two shapes this is a very nice feature in Visio 2010 we will repeat for the other shapes we need process you can see there are also yellow lines which are used as reference to align the shapes together we need the decision making shape here and then we need output And finally the end we could also connect shapes together using the connector tool here At the moment we are now at the pointer tool we could also add text to the uh, diagram we could for example add text within the shapes by double clicking on the shape so here we can add some text start input process decision output finally stop we could also add text by using the text tool here and we can drag the text and place it anywhere on you can see that here the yellow lines are very useful they guide us uh, in the placement of the text to be aligned with the diagram okay once we finish the draft version of the flowchart we can add some color and some design templates to make the uh, diagram more professional and more presentable so here on the top menu we have the design bar then we come and choose the color let's say we choose this color then we go and choose the effects 
let's see this effect and as you can see here we have created a professional looking flowchart the next stage is to export the flowchart as a JPEG image with a certain resolution and to do this we go to file we choose save as and here we can save this to the desktop we will change the uh, save as type we will choose JPEG now here on the JPEG output options we can change the resolution of the image from the default to the custom for example I want to save this as a 1 mega pixel image you can do this by changing the dimension and then we save it this concludes this tutorial